Welcome to Syntax. Welcome to a brand new episode of the Front End Happy Hour podcast. Welcome to this week's JS Party. Live from Shipshape Studios, this is Whiskey Web and Whatnot with your hosts, Robbie the Wagner and me, Charles William Carpenter III. That's right, Charles. We drink whiskey and talk about web development. I mean, it's all in the name. It's not that deep. This is Whiskey Web and Whatnot. Do not adjust your set. Hey, okay. we're live now. What's up? This is Wine Web and Whatnot. Because a new, it's more usually, refined Shay. Yes, this is where we, we go pink is out. But uh, yeah, usually we do whiskey. I, should I keep saying this? I guess I should, because someone might listen to just one. So yes, we usually do whiskey. We're in wine. All things can never open. have just one round. You know yeah. what else is open? That bottle of wine. It is. Let's pass it down. Let's take one yeah. down, pass it around. Do you do a know. description? Do I do explain sometimes. What it is? Well, yeah, we just did this one. But again, if someone listens to just this okay, episode. Okay, so today we're having <laughs> the Famille Calpare. It is French. And Vigneron it is from the Beaujolais region. Oh. Using the Gamay grape. And this is from the town of Fleury. Oh, uh, tannins. Uh, That's yes, literally the, the only thing I know yeah, about Yeah, 100% right. Gamay grape, which cool. I really liked. Famille Capare is a fifth-generation winemakers located in the hillside of Fleury Ooh. in the Beaujolais the region, which I've been to. It is really? a beautiful town. Sounds this nice. Like, nice little, like, 1400s church on a hill. Like, How does oh, it compare okay. to Raleigh, North Carolina? Uh... On a scale of not one as Raleigh. good. <laughs> yeah. I'm in Raleigh right now, and we're live streaming, so, so yeah. not as good. Yeah, it's Raleigh good. is better. Yeah, a little, little no, less Beaujolais. Fine, actually, a little less yeah. Beaujolais. Yeah. So, Beaujolais is a region. Beaujolais is often yeah. thought about uh, as a uh, blended table wine. Not totally true. Hmm. It's and the standard one, for whether the wine's going to be good that year. That's why they have the Nouveau. The Nouveau Which Beaujolais Beaujolais likes. likes. Oh, nice. Yeah, so you, you have the Nouveau, and it tells you if the wine's going to be good that year. And nice. if it's not, you don't buy any of it. Right. Well, this is a young wine, so hmm. we'll yeah. kind of preface it with that. So typically, we start the show doing a bit of a nose, perfect, yeah. and yeah. just do a taste and uh, assessment. And feel free to mention anything that you smell or taste. Right. All the way off. Notes of bazooka gum. You Bazo- getting that? <laughs> okay. It's it's a little, son of a bitch. <laughs> it's a little coppery. <laughs> smell like a penny. I do, oh, do I have like a little that. of that, yeah. but also yeah. a little acrid, but sweet. And smell that afterbirth. Holy shit! Yeah. He just fucking showed us how you do this. <laughs> yeah. Really. yeah. What? Are you getting that rotisserie chicken? Uh, as well? No, not at all. No. But I did get a, like an oh, like a bit, an air of sweetness, which I had attributed to like a fruitiness earlier, and then mm. you, the copper is perfect. Actually, yeah. I hadn't even considered that like, metallic. It really is sense of it. Like, yeah. And that really comes from strong. There is the on. power of suggestion, but I actually, I, yeah, I, yeah, I, it's I there. Think yeah. that, like, it is metally for sure. Metallic. I get that. Not metallic. Yeah. Maybe they kept no. it in a copper, whatever. A copper barrel. And not a barrel, no. But no. They have tank. Yeah, when they tank it. So when they <laughs> yeah. tank it, and they usually put it in like stainless tanks, that's to stop any aging and to yeah. stop any sort of like the, influence yeah. into it. So you wouldn't what get if you that put it in flavor. A copper, tank, okay. copper would be interesting, but also is that in any way poisonous? I don't know. I, I very well could be. Yeah. Speaking of tanking, what about Raleigh's wine industry? Do we have like some popular Raleigh <laughs> wines? Are they known yeah, for wine? yeah, that's well, pretty smart. But no, they're not. What's North um, Carolina wine country? North Carolina wine is mostly like uh what's shit i'm forgetting the type of grape now it's like a really sweet wine uh, it's uh it's more like a dessert wines. wine yeah very very sweet very very different tastes like if you had great pai chu yeah mm. tastes exactly mm. like that mm. not great so is it like in Shit's creek where they're like try our north carolina fruit wines it's kind of like that kind of like Mera? less of a Mera? joke Mera? You were Moira? Is yeah. That name? Yes. I yes. Guess. Where they have her as like the official yeah. spokesperson and she yeah. infects it a lot the whole time. So I, I actually, where I'm from is uh, Western New York and I'm in the Finger Lakes, mm. which is, uh, it, it is rich. known for their wine. Yeah, they have they like a lot of wineries out there. And one of them does this terrible, terrible wine. It's called Arbor Mist. I know. Oh, I'm it, familiar. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. God, that's now that's I, it's all I can taste. It feels like somebody fingered you when it's so bad. Not consensually. Yeah. Yeah, we should exactly. have done some Franzia. I had a terrible experience with a bladder of that because uh, we used to just take it out 
yeah. and then you could carry it. You play slap it's, the bag. It's portable. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm a grown man. I didn't know yeah, yeah, slap the bag never made sense to me. I was like, what? what's the game? Oh, you just slap it and then drink it. I'm like, slap and drink. That's not a... There's no game here. Like my family created a drinking game. It was called Oh my god, I can't even believe I'm saying this. And how dangerous <laughs> it don't try this game. Okay. Uh it, we called it Lit and Hit. We'd, oh, sit, okay. we'd sit in a circle with a box of those strike everywhere matches. And if you hold it with a finger and you flick the match, it'll light. So you would you would call who you're trying to hit. With this lit match, and, and again, I'm saying this aloud, and I'm like, who the fuck's parents let us come up with this? But our, my parents ended up playing it with us a couple times, hmm. and you would try to to hit somebody, a couple singes of shorts, no one ever, no severe burns, or... Okay, so... It was a game of risk. I, I love this story, because first of all, I feel like, yeah, I'm actually a decent parent, because I would never fucking <laughs> at, at all. I wouldn't it's either. funny. I wouldn't either. But I did a lot of, well, you know. So I, you're I did, a parent. I am. A you am. Okay. Hey. Uh, right there. before we started recording, we were talking about guessing the age. Yes. Oh, yes. Now I'm very curious. So I, I'm going to ask one sort of question to gauge it. How okay. old are your kids? Five and eight. <clears throat> I'm going to say you're 37. Nope. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Yes. So the 47. age of his kids really throws them off. When yeah. 47. Right. Are you I serious? just turned 47 last month. Yeah. Oh, happy he belated birthday. He uses a lot of face creams. Yeah. Like all the creams. Yeah. It is many massages on the face. Are you into the tallow? You do the beef tallow? No, I don't. I would eat some beef tallow. That's a, that's yeah. a thing. Is it's it? Like a, a whipped beef tallow. It, uh, it's a very is that what Wheeler was sand. using this for? I didn't look at that thread. I don't know. I, he had a white goo tallow. No. no he just no, eats no. that. I he just eats that shit. He has no neck. That is literally all tallow. And I love Ken Wheeler. So I was texting him yesterday it's, i can say that but oh you were i'm gonna text yeah. him right now text like, him right you know now this tell, one? tell yeah. him to watch this yes. live yeah yes. he yeah, doesn't tell him to, to today. tell him to chime in i actually i texted him yesterday to see if he would if he would give us a blog post for our platform if we gave him torque branded zin can i say should i be saying this on the air oh, why not? no <laughs> do they is this an industry where they brand zin well I don't oh, know funny. that that's something that HR would be cool with. Yeah. Think, um, do you just slap a, sh a sticker, sticker on the thing? Bunch and I, the sticker? Maybe on the tin. Yeah. 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 I would want a total, I don't know, I've never. Yeah, another I would yeah, want it to be that. totally custom though. I like, agree. Full label, that would be sick. I mean, like, we, I don't have, we have a pretty cool logo. I feel like that would look cool on, yeah. a, on a little Zen pouch. Yeah, it would you know? work in that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah I yeah. get that. It's a, it's a pouch, right? Yes. I don't, okay. yes? Okay. Well, there. yeah, it's a, a tin full of little pouches. Is it kind of like it's like dip pouches? It's like yeah, dip being big, except it's just nicotine. There's no tobacco. Yeah. I know about them because my friend they are very really awesome. into it, and he did a PowerPoint presentation to tell us all about it. So we did like oh. we did like funny PowerPoints, like for yeah, a yeah, yeah. Like that's whatever. Well, that's talking. a good thing because it was definitely one of those things that has gotten popular enough that I'm like too afraid to ask what the hell this is. That's fair. I was like, I don't know what it that's is. Very afraid to ask. Well, yeah. okay, so you're 47. Yes, and you have two kids under. Why so late? What's your deal? He has 400 different <laughs> lives beforehand. This? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm just going how are you? Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. how real do I get on this? I don't know. I want to say I was a late bloomer, but there was just a lot of like, it took me a little while to figure out what I wanted to be when I grew That's up. That's fair. And then I also was like, I don't know, I had a traumatic childhood and I was like, fuck kids for a long time. I get that. And I just basically got to a point where I had a great established life that I really liked. And I just like, those things were no longer something I like was trying to figure out. And I was just like, if I'm here, I'm kind of happy. And if life takes me somewhere else, we're fine. So if I was like 70 and alone, as a okay, because that life was like fine for me. That was it. Obviously things went differently and caused me to sort of like assess and then just improve those parts of me that felt like I could make a human who wouldn't have the life I had. So that was okay as long as I was confident in that. And also being like, man, a lot of people are not having kids now. Maybe I should, should put some better people out in the world. Plus, when I'm 80, I don't want to wipe my own ass. I have also told both of my kids that, listen. Are they going to wipe your ass? I, I say, it's I tell my son, I'm like, Aiden, you know you're going to wipe daddy's butt one day, right? Because I wipe yours. And he's like, I don't want to do that. And I was like, then you better figure out how to pay some. Yeah, to you do, get a good it's your job. your responsibility either. You put daddy in a nice home. Yeah, you put yeah. daddy in a nice home. Oh, you want a skateboard? Daddy won some butt weight with this. So, 
No, I mean, I, that's that, that's the fast. The stakes are high. No, I, I, I like that answer, and it's kind of a loaded question because obviously there's nothing wrong with that, and I feel like maybe the question came out that way, but yeah. I like hearing everybody's stories because everything happens at the time it's supposed to. I, I very much believe that, and uh, it's cool because that was the right time for you and the place you were. Yeah. So it was, it was exactly right. And that's really what yeah. it was. It's like me at 25 would have had zero patience for kids. And I always felt that like patience is a huge part of it. So when my fir my son was born, I was 38, 39, something like that. And I'm exhausted because like infants are just exhausting because they're blobs that you think you're gonna die any second. It yeah. just kind of kept me going. To a degree, I was like, oh man, I can see where this is a young man's game. But on the other side of it, as they get older and more challenging and chew and chew and all of that, I'm so happy that I just have enough life behind me mm -hmm. that like I'm more patient about it. I'm like, but that sucks. So you're on your time now, Bill, you know, like that kind <laughs> of thing. How has being a parent helped you in your career? How has learning patience with children helped you in a work environment? Well, I think the positives are that it has introduced more patience in my life. So in my career for a long time, I was an individual contributor. Also, I'm very happy with that path. Actually, I, be, I got into leadership positions 10 years plus into my career, and it was introduced in a way that made it like the, the stakes were low. Mm -hmm. And it was like, I'm a tech lead on some big projects. Maybe we want you to be a tech lead internally over certain technologies mm -hmm. and National Geographic. And I was like, okay, yeah, I want to I wanna be in charge of identity. I want to be in charge of ad tech, like whatever else. And then like tangentially, people become a part of that. Yeah. And then like all of a sudden, like, oh, you're working so deeply with this team, perhaps you can help them with their career pathing. And I was like, yeah, cool. I want my people to be like, oh, I love this team and I want them to be awesome. And so, yeah, it was just like a step path through that. And I think that similarly, it was that, I would say prepared me more for parenting than the enders, mm -hmm. but then like empathy for all of that was introduced later on to that path. Nice, I like that. So segue from this old guy. <laughs> <laughs> What's it like working with Jeff Bezos? I, uh, yeah, uh, he speaking of old men, I know he's work. the new host. Yeah, he does show. Yeah, why am I doing this? What is happening right now? I don't I'm know. driving. Yeah, well, of course, it's fine. See, You're, you can do I, that. I don't know if you guys actually knew this. I also host a podcast. Yes. Yeah, the Tech Commute. It's pretty fun. Yes. Oh shoot. yeah, totally. I'm a uh, big fan. Subscriber likes all that. Toads. Stuff. Yeah, toads. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, me, yeah, me, me too. But yeah, Bezos. Uh, if you message him, he doesn't respond. It's weird. He's not the CEO anymore, so he just like travels on his yacht and he, I don't know. What a life. Yeah. God, I mean, Jassy is still doing work, but he's also still rich as fuck. So yeah. Yeah. Where did we go wrong, guys? Ask him how he feels about RTO. How, how do you feel about RTO? <laughs> how do you feel about an RKO too, by the way? RKO, RKO wrestling RKO's. guy. Oh, I was thinking the old school studios that were some wells. Oh wow! Yeah, holy oh, deep cut. Uh, holy uh, deep cut. <laughs> When's his bedtime? Are we going to be wrapping uh, up? Fifteen minutes past. The past the, uh, the, the, uh, the blue plate specials are still going for another hour. So I'll I'll yeah, early bird dinner. Uh, fun fact about that: I was joking about that with my wife because our eighth wedding anniversary is tomorrow, so I fly back yeah. tomorrow. And we're having dinner at five thirty, so it's like nice. yeah, yeah. And I'm five thirty well, yes, or five. earlier is the best time for dinner. If honestly. they don't open until five, they'll usually five to five yeah. ten is what you get. And be well, the linger. We'll be lingering at the door unless you're going in Denny's yeah. or Marie uh, Callender's. I am good. not ashamed to be waiting outside while they're opening. <laughs> it's not a problem for me. Uh, I will do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, it's fair. like with kids, you're just like, I want to eat as early as I can so that maybe they go too, and then like. Put them to bed early, and then I can have some time. Like, yeah. Even before that, like I would never read at like seven or eight. That was way too late. Oh, you would not survive in Europe. That no, we <laughs> we went when we went to Italy for our honeymoon. We were like, "Hey, yeah, I'd like to make this dinner reservation at seven. And they were like, ah, "You mean eight? And I was like, <laughs> "Yeah." So, <laughs> I guess Damn that's it. what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> like it was so. Yeah. So how many do you? You have kids? Yeah, just well, one. It's just one. the one. Yeah. yeah. He's two and a half, almost three. <laughs> yeah. His birthday's in March. Luckily, like, okay. where Caitlin is not a listener. Someone so do some math for me. Guys. Like, he's you're close. probably two and a half. -ish. You could just say almost three. Yeah, yeah. So almost man, three. we're past the, the hump. Yeah, we're, we're coming we're down. We're basically at Christmas time, which is basically March. Yeah, so well, it's a wonderful one milestone when you stop saying months. Like, yeah, 22 months. You mean almost two? 
Why won't you fucking say that? I don't understand. Where's where is that? Where do people make that decision? Two. What two? It's two. I two. Think, two. Uh, yeah, I guess there's so many like things you're trying to hit. It's like, oh, are they doing that at 14 months? Like they're supposed to. Yeah. Oh, so that's why you do that. But like, yeah, that's I, fair. it's bullshit. Yeah, I would. Sure. After 12 months, who cares? Just yeah. it's their one. Well, I like, agree, but it doesn't happen. Doesn't yeah. change and never yeah. does. So what? <laughs> What made you guys start this? And I obviously you went the real answer. That was yeah. that was the, hilarious. The real answer I totally is loved that. very easy. We yeah, wanted whiskey easy. to be a business expense. Now yeah. it is. Yeah. That's so brilliant. Yeah, <laughs> that's so brilliant. <laughs> and also, we had a really good year. So we used to. I mean, we still have an agency. It exists. Yeah. Um, Shipshape.io. Shipshape.io. <laughs> Hopefully they don't take that from us. Cue the um, room here. Yeah. Right here <laughs> where my hands are, they're <laughs> going to put it. And so yeah. the marketing for that at the time would have been part of the impetus. Spending money on equipment because podcasts were, you know, sharing kind of become popular for everyone mm-hmm. at that time. And then, yeah, whiskey is marketing. It's been so, That's so yeah. smart. You guys should do some sort of like a whiskey distillery tour podcast. We want We've to. We've been about, talking so about that. This you think is my tour grand wants plan. to sponsor that shit? And I've got an Ooh. idea. Well, okay. So my awesome. grand plan, it, it has awesome. to be small because you're going to be does. taking a bunch of people to distilleries, right? Yeah. So 20 to maybe 50 men. Max. Fix 50 20, 30 men is for you. But like a conference, do a few podcasters come and do shows at a just like go to the Bourbon Trail, do a yeah. bunch of distilleries, mm-hmm. and like a few select people get to hang out with us while we do that. Yeah, that yeah. would be pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. I would you know, join you guys on that. that okay, great. so let's table it and have that talk. Yeah, we'll talk I would to have Taylor. more wine if I could find it. Uh, could you maybe go to the run of the store real quick? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Uh, three point three okay. miles away. That's fine. We'll just do hey, Wegmans. Shout out to Guitar Center. Did though. you say Wegmans? Yeah, there's a Wegmans here. There's a Wegmans here. Yeah, I know Wegmans oh, is amazing, God. right? Wegmans. It was founded in my like hometown. Really? So. Yeah. Oh, really? Where? Oh, yeah. Where are you from? I'm up. I live up in Rochester, New York. Mm-hmm. So. Okay. Danny Wegman himself, his dad, <laughs> his dad is the one that founded the original Wegmans in Canandaigua, New York. Oh. Is it any relation to the photographer that takes all the pictures of those uh, liner runners? Is kind of famous William Wegman? I think it is. Uh, I don't. I don't think you don't know. Relation. Okay. Could be a coincidence in the name, but, but those mm. stores. I, that's one of the Wegmans things I is miss. the best grocery. Yeah, thing. It, it really it's is. One of the things I miss about the East Coast. Yeah. We live in Phoenix. Wegmans. Oh, no, so we used to live in, D- uh, in D.C., my wife yeah. and I, and we loved it. And New Eve, because we made people, it gets mm-hmm. easier, but just kidding, it doesn't. And Never that's does. a whole other episode. Yeah, yeah. Never does. Nice. Yeah, Wegmans is great. I grew up with Wegmans, so every other grocer pales in comparison. Yeah, absolutely. I just can't. Yeah. I can't. No, I agree. Yeah, it's like high-quality stuff, but also regular stuff. Oh, yeah. It's like if Whole Foods was approachable and everything wasn't organic. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. And they, they still have a lot of the stuff that Whole Foods has. Yes. And then the Wegmans brand stuff. Oh, yes. Um, that is one of the few places that isn't a sushi restaurant that I can go and get sushi, depending on the time of day. If you go right in the morning when it's all prepared. Yep. And not, like, die yeah. from <laughs> something. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, yeah. and it, yeah. the cost is good. This yeah, has been this a really a great crowd here. Thing. This is only my third tech conference. Oh, and uh, you, you there's a it. ton of energy here. Because I was at Render. Yeah, that was that. my first tech conference. Mm-hmm. And that was yeah. Yeah. wildly intimidating. Then I was at that conference. I did a talk. That was my first tech talk. And now I'm yeah, here. Exactly. And this is really cool. The energy here is very uh, comparable to Render. Texas or Wisconsin? Uh, I went yeah, to the Wisconsin. Okay. Okay. At the Kalahari. Yeah, and we Wisconsin were at the Texas Hills. one. It was great. Yeah, I saw you guys Thank there because I was watching the stream a lot. So mm-hmm. I did get to see you guys there. That was, oh, that was pretty cool. Yeah, dude. Yeah. 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 yeah, I was supposed to go logistically. See, it couldn't work out. Did you see where ATF showed up at one of our recordings? Oh, no. We did. <laughs> Yeah, three. It's a, it wasn't apparent on the recording, but no. like Clark oh, texted us. Oh and was yeah, like, yeah, we had uh, put the bottle away. The thing and we were like, monitors, and I was, and it was like, put the bottle down, and I was like, I have no idea what that means. Yeah, why is it blocking? I something? just thought it was like, glaring yeah. something, yeah. and then they were like ATF on site. I was like, oh fuck, wow. Yeah. Yeah. So what were they there for? I've seen the the, the bomb they come by randomly. Yeah. 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 So they like. That was a big thing. We weren't allowed to do whiskey there, but he was like, just do it. And if yeah. anything happens, like he'll take yeah. the heat. Yeah. And he said, yeah, like randomly they come through. And if they find people serving whiskey, then the resort uses their liquor yeah. license, yeah. which is a big problem. Yeah. Yeah. That's so, like, I can it see worked that. out. It worked yeah. out. I think it was a little like, please don't do that. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Sense. A little, a little warning the and then do it again yeah. and 
Yes. Then they're coming in guns blazing. I think it was our last episode. It, it was, was too. It was also yeah. that. Let me ask you guys something since you've been doing this a while. How do you not want to lean into the microphone? Uh, so when I'm at, no, I when I'm not no. next to people, when I'm at home, I'm like, hey, hey, yeah, what's yeah, up? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. we have the arm, and so it is uh, kind of next to It's right there. So it's it's way right easier. There. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, it's always like the, the live setup. This. The, it I mean, sounds so much better when you're right when here. When you're right up here. Yeah, here what's it up? Does. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> this is Billy D. Williams. You like some cold for the size? I would. Yeah, yeah I actually, would. I would. Actually, actually take, take a malt <laughs> beverage right yeah, now. Yeah, malt <laughs> beverage. <laughs> Do you know Fresca makes a sparkling beverage? Shut up. Well, yeah. isn't all Fresca sparkling? You mean right. alcoholic. Yeah, alcoholic. Alcoholic. Yeah, alcoholic. Yeah, alcoholic. You yes, know what I do. meant. Don't call and it tastes the exact the same. Thing. Exact same. It does. Really? Alcoholic. It's yeah. a creeper. What's like the percentage on it? Five? Five. It's dangerous. Yeah. And you're just like, I'm just having another Fresca. Like, how old do you think I am? Well, now that you said, now I don't know. I said know. pretty close. Uh, so you, you said 80? No, to you. How about, I think uh, I'm probably uh, closer four, to you than I am. 41. If I, yeah, I'm just looking for a reaction <laughs> thing. Yeah. Okay. It uh, seemed like that wasn't true for 43. 43. 43. Yeah, 43. I'll be 44 in December, so. Sell five, five. five. Sell five. <laughs> Let's give you nuts. Yeah, so yeah. how old are you then? Uh, 33. He's a baby. Oh and he's fucking but I look much older because yes. I've been through a lot of stress. <laughs> he's been through some, he's seen some shit. Yeah. You know, sometimes Getting Robbie has a hard time thinking rich. about which house on the lake down in Virginia yes. he wants to go to. It's like, where are we going to be? That's my parents' which? house. Yes. And that does Can't not you just apply. go to the one you share with Jeff Bezos, you son of a bitch? <laughs> Listen, Jeff Bezos has problems too. His yacht is too big to go most places, yeah, and have to tear the bridges yeah. down and rebuild them so he can go there. Everything's injected in there, right? <laughs> that sucks. Right? That sucks. Like, can you imagine that that is your biggest problem? Yeah. Is your yacht's too fucking big? Yeah, that, I know. Well, I can't imagine no money, no problem. Someone tearing down a bridge for me to enter. I guess he spends enough money that it yeah. comes out. But wait, is it? Uh, is it? Bad form to say mo money mo problems. Can no, you get ZD is, isn't that a notorious? Big, you could you just say it's Biggie. You thought it was the Biggie. Can you edit that so he thinks that it was Biggie? Yeah. That, I mean, wasn't it a lot of people that said that? Probably. Yeah, but like but you're probably thinking song. of a specific song. Yeah. Yeah, but. that's what I'm thinking. All about the Benjamin. I'm going to point out that. Unfortunately, for some reason, after all this Diddy stuff, I listened to No Way Out like so many times because that is such a good album. Okay, let me tell you, is that. that the one with Victory on it? Yes. Where it's like, Victory is such that is a like banger with Buster Rhymes. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah. So, but and art you're from like, the artist, art from the yeah, artist. Well, it, this is a problem that. because like when R. Kelly I know, but had his shit. It's like you got a, a song or two. Diddy has a lot more popular songs. Diddy, That's yeah. a much bigger Some problem bangers. for me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I Michael know. Jackson, right? Like, yeah. and he yeah. wasn't convicted or yeah. whatever. That's anything. more gray area. It's pretty fucked up. But I grew yeah. up like, with Michael Jackson. I know. So I'm like, That's the I king of pop. Yeah. yeah, it is the king. But, still but the he king. was never still the king. like fully. This happened. There was right. a lot of speculation. Yeah, there's no yeah. proof. Right. Like, no Diddy and R. Kelly is like. There's some proof. There's a lot of Diddy proof. It seems like. Yeah, Diddy. Wow. I know. And after it's all that stuff. Like well, Diddy's like the, he's not the king of pop. He's not the king of no. pop and all this other stuff. But he's but got he a lot of good songs. He's got yeah. a lot of good yeah. songs. He's been a good producer in terms of talent. Ciroc. Is Ciroc canceled now? Probably he was just fucking random shitty vodka. No. Yeah. No, you shut your damn mouth. The rock no, is good. It's not what flavor? You, what flavor? Because then they didn't well, they have like flavors. I mean, yeah, but did you see their? They have like their the, guy who's like yeah. the distiller or whatever. Right, he's like this right. interesting man, like with gray beard. He's like, think about if you put a bunch of uh, wheat in your mouth, right? Now think about if you put a bunch of grapes in your mouth. Syrup, because it's made from grapes instead of wheat. It's right. so much better. But right. it's, all that is supposed to kind of disappear from your palate. That's sure. Yeah. Yeah. Right, it's the most like ubiquitous, easy spirit, which is why it got super popular and it crushed bourbon in the eighties and nineties, mm. and that's why bourbon got super cheap until now. And then in Blazing, mm. it's it. I watched some fat redneck asshole on TikTok mix like I, I want to say it was a Mad Dog forty forty and a four loco uh, together, uh, and I would literally uh, rather uh, drink uh, that uh, than Ciroc. Whoa, oh, really have you tried, tried, wait, wait. Have you tried Mad Dog in like the last 20 years? No. I have, 
because I thought it was funny to do like a trash like teenage. Has it gotten better? Did you play it's Edward Forty Hands? Horrible. Did you play Edward Forty oh, Hands? No, but I am playing. <laughs> so I played. Uh, That's so uh, convenient. I, yeah. Yeah, I played Power Hour or Century oh, yeah. Day. Uh, the, like what is this? Century me and Lincoln? Centurion. Yeah, me and Ken Wheeler played Power Hour together on my stream of the, nice, like a month nice. ago. Did you so. live by him or some shit? No. He's okay. in Jersey. I'm, I know. I yeah. think we're like seven hours Metro away. Metro Park or yeah. something. Yeah. He, um, he tried to tempt me up there, which I would yeah, love his to address go. Is, yeah. <laughs> I know his address. the shit out of it. <laughs> um, I am still going to send him a bag of dicks and stuff of it. You said this at least ten times. I, I think know. you should do it right now. Yeah. You should. On the air. Air. Do it. I need my... Uh, the dicks are coming for you, brother. <laughs> yeah, dicks are coming for you. <laughs> oh, he already... Uh, Did he message you back? The homie indeed. <laughs> See? Hmm. Look at that. No. Ten Wheeler approved, yeah. baby. <laughs> He's definitely not watching this. He's not no, watching. No. I don't have a link. Is there a link? Switch.tv slash whiskey with. Oh, there you go. This just in. Whiskey.fund is now open for all your merch needs. That's right, Robbie. We're hearing reports of hats, sweaters, and t-shirts, as well as a link to join our Discord server. What's a Discord server? <sighs> Just read the prompter, man. Hit subscribe, leave us a review on your favorite podcast app, and tell your friends about our broadcast. It really does help us reach more people and keeps the show growing. All right, back to your regularly scheduled programming. How many people are people watching? No, they're no, not. I mean, no they, they have. No, some have come in and out, but yeah, it's we don't do great at streaming. Yeah, we're streaming too old for streaming. Too old for streaming. I want to get someone who understands Twitch to just tell me what it is. Primogen, yeah, that Prime. would help us. Prime we would be pretty, pretty yeah. cool. I think Prime and Typecraft would be good candidates. They're both doing pretty you okay. You could get uh, <laughs> what Bash Bunny. Is pretty cool chick. Yeah, she she'd seems probably nice. help you guys. She helps with the uh, I mean, two and go, but I said I don't really, I don't really, I don't know. Well, yeah, no. it's just just understanding how Twitch works. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's yeah. probably people that have done a YouTube video about how to do it, but then I have to like That's read. Not stupid. I want to have someone Dax on yeah. that can just do it. Didn't, isn't Dax live streaming a little bit too? Is he? Yeah, but yeah. if people are starting, that's not the person you want to talk to. No. Yeah, I guess that's true. You just do prime. What's uh, the guy that works for Get Cracking? Chris? You guys know Chris Billig? I know someone who works there, but it's not a stream. So. <laughs> he streams all the time, and he's got an awesome setup. Yeah. That'd be somebody to get, because he's also really fucking smart. Like, I, I, Most of these guys are idiots. Yeah, not this guy. Super smart. Yeah. He says a bunch of shit to me, and I'm like, that is great, dude. Yeah. I'm going to not finish this because you said a lot of things I don't understand. So, <laughs> yeah. see, my, like, tech path, since this is a tech podcast, kind of, I started in 100 Devs Boot Camp and got through, like, React. I moved to Next.js for a little while. Then I kind of started going into Laravel. You decided and not to be a communist. No, it, there was a job that had come up that was full-time that was based around Drupal, which is open source oh, CMS. Oh, we know. On Guess PhD. what? Shepard JS, an open source project yeah. that we oh, made. Oh, yes. Drupal is built used built by in. Drupal. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah uh, their tour, they their tour, tour module yeah, is right. Shepard. Yeah. I love that. So I started really getting into PHP, and then I didn't get that job. You don't like so Lambos. I, d I don't. I'm too tall for them. Lambos that makes sense. Although are inconvenient. Yeah. Although you never yeah. have to pay for parking because you just go right under the. But I'll leave that Otwell's a big guy too, though. Oh, yeah. He has, too, one. And he has one soon. Uh, my buddy just bought a C6, like a 2022 Corvette. I can't even get in the thing because yeah, it's so low to the My top. dad's friend has a Corvette, and he's like, the way you do it is you just roll out. <laughs> oh, uh, that's great. Literally yeah. roll out of the city. Roll, roll out. Roll out. Uh, roll out. Ludacris has no problems that we know of. So I fully Ludacris endorse has a Ludacris. lot of problems. No, what not in problems. Problems. No, no, not in trouble. I yeah. Just, he has like yeah. a million kids and pays like I have no money, more grand. problems. Yeah, uh, exactly. money. It comes in full alimony. Circle. Yeah, yeah. Stand up. All right. Well, those are terrible life choices. Yeah, but that's yeah. yeah. But yeah. no, he's he's still an upstanding guy. Like, I think. Uh, yeah. I, I think he's still doing better than him. No, yeah. no. He, yeah, he's doing the bar, better than Nick The bar's Nick pretty can, low, right? but yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, that guy can rap though. Yeah, I love Lou. Yeah, yeah. I'm all about beer and chicken. Chicken and beer. Chicken is that way. I think it. That's one of his best out. I think so too. Oh yeah, it's amazing. I think so too. Is that the one with uh, stand up? It's got that block locked down. Yeah, you know that one. Yes. Yeah, that was an awesome one. I like yeah, yeah. Ludacris. Great. Yeah. There's another. I like another two like chains. rapper from that like era. Okay. Uh, I don't know much two chains. 
I don't know a ton, but uh, there's a couple of good ones. Yeah. Um, I just like his vibe. Have you watched it? Well, uh, (laughs) what are his songs even called? Fort is good. I don't Um, know it. But uh, I think I know where you're going with his, like, two chains, like, YouTube channel where he does. He has the most expensive. Yes, the most expensive is great. Yeah, he's like, oh, this blunt is, like, $50,000. Let me smoke it. I do love that. Like, $30,000 mattress. I think he did one with a mattress. That was really cool. And he has a Frenchie named Trappy, which is hilarious. (laughs) Two chains is probably a cool dude. Yeah. He's probably a cool He didn't become famous until he was Chuck's in so, like... He's yeah, got never cool say dude. never. Never yeah. say never. <laughs> he what you're saying is really good for his age, age too. He's very yeah. old. Yeah. Holy he shit! Do you guys Whoa. have matching bands? Is this happening? Oh well. Was that if you had to yes, say it's where, cute? What which, are you saying? It's cute. It's what kind adorable. of band do you it's think it is? It's so adorable. Oh, inter- uh, what kind of band? Yeah, yeah it is. It's a. It's like Spice. You know what the problem is? You know what? You two poured a fucking note. Yeah. Apparently so. Yeah, I don't know. These were, these were a business expense. Yeah. Oh. And Miz. Because if you want to develop a watch app, you need a watch. That's true. Yeah. Yep. That's true. Yeah. That's why I need 15 MacBooks. That's too. also why this is yeah. like four years old or something. I don't know. Yeah. No, we, there's no new major expenses except this light. Yeah. That that is shout out to light. Jason Langstor for telling us what a cool house. Yes. <laughs> hey, all right. Oh, on air sorry. live. How much was it? Four hundred bucks. Wow, that's for a lot for one fucking light. Yeah. But it rolls up. It does. It is very portable, and it is super useful. But I do think that, like, okay, I only ask that not to shame you or Jason or anything else. But I think like we don't talk about money in tech. Like yeah, that's just true. like that's silent, true. like kind of like nuance. And us being silent about money is what lets companies control our money. That's true. Wow. That's a good yeah. call. Yeah. You, th- I, you, you don't they're... see it a lot. And I always, I, I wonder because I do see people posting a lot of things that they're acquiring. Yeah. yeah. But, it's, but you don't know what debt they're going into no. and like, right. what that is for their life. And that's content, Jim. Yeah. yeah. That's true. Like people, I no have a nice car. No one talks about the nice car. credit card debt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I have a nice car. What do you drive? What's your uh, car? A Porsche Taycan Cross Turismo. It was expensive. It's the most expensive car I've ever bought, but I'm fucking 47 and I've been doing this a long sure. time. And also, I don't spend money in a lot of other ways. Like yeah. You don't buy a $400 light? No, these boots are for 20 years, probably about at least 15 years. So were they made for walking? No, they, they were, were made, made for, for motorcycling. For, to a nickelback. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. exactly. <laughs> Look at this photograph. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's, uh, what is it like? Wise man. Did you guys watch that documentary? By the way, no, I didn't. There's a whole Netflix documentary about Nickelback, yeah. and where it they like, actually kind of made me. I like liked that. the premise kinda where it was like, like they blew up, and then now everyone hates them. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's like, the thing. Creed had that problem. Creed is good, Creed though. is totally coming back. Creed is there, good. That is a resurgence. Like crazy Christian thoughters. Yeah, they did. I don't, I don't know. I watched the like Wu Tang documentary. That was why they know. broke up because oh. the band didn't want to lean Christian. Yeah. And Scott Staff was like, no, we're doing it. So they separated. They created Alter Bridge and then now they're oh, back. Alter because, Bridge was good too, though. Yeah. I don't even know. The guitar like. is just <laughs> insane. It was just like, yeah. okay. Is it Tune like this totally custom like, tuning and then be like, and like, all right, shit. I was thinking it was kind of like a thing where like, uh, Soundgarden and Rage Against the Machine were going other directions, and then we get Audio Sleep for a while. Man, Audio Sleep was great. I thought it was fire. Audio Chris Sleep Cornell? was great. Chris Cornell was a genius. I mean, he's gone too soon. Yeah. Well, you know, yeah, they burnout, depression, yeah. real thing. It really is. And it, you know, there's no easy way out. Speaking of industries where that is. Happening. Wait, is, is there a burnout here? Is I, are people killing themselves? Like? Well, I haven't heard yeah, that kill yeah, part. There's a lot of burnout. I burnout know. and, and like then people mental who breakdowns. like artists who like not just kill themselves, but like I'm super rich. I could afford a bunch of kills and just go down silently. No, I've hung myself. Like yeah, that's, that's fucked up. That's, that's a choice. Aggressive. That, yeah. is, a that choice. is aggressive. That's like I don't deserve a quiet out. Like I don't know, man. which is crazy. Like you said, Chris Cornell was like. The Robert Plant of my generation. For sure. Just, like, incredible voice yeah. just goes on. I got to see, so again, I'm dating myself here. It was 1996. So do you think you'll get married? Well, I'm married. Yeah, no, you dating yourself. Oh, so yeah, I'm was dating myself. Go? Yes, I probably will <laughs> marry myself. Um, um, bad joke. Dad joke. Lollapalooza, 1996. Okay. I got to see 
the entire original lineup of the Wu-Tang Clan, so it was before ODB died. Yeah. And it was one of the last shows that Soundgarden did before they broke up in the 90s. Yeah. And the Metallica was also the headliner. So I got to see a 90s Metallica show. That was pretty cool. I was 15, and in hindsight, I'm like, whose parents would let them go? But that was the 90s, man. I was was going to say, I went to tons of shows. I went to Lollapalooza in 97. It was Snoop Dogg and Tool. And Tool, because it had rained like the night before, they encouraged people to tear up pieces at the grass oh, yeah. first and throw it. I got like pummeled by a giant <laughs> piece of grass. That seems not great. No. <laughs> Would not encourage that. But it was fun. I was like, yeah, I love it. And, Talk and, about memorable. Like, yeah. He remembers <laughs> that to this day. Oh my gosh, yeah. yeah. And like Maynard comes on the stage and he's head to toe painted half like electric blue and crazy purple. And he's like, you know, dancing around, messing with people. It was crazy. And then you had Snoop Dogg. There's another head. That like, guy's wild. Yeah. That, and again, it goes to that, like, the artist and that creative process where they, like, go into this weird place in their minds where, like, yeah, this is just a normal day. This is a normal day for me. I'm going to yeah, I'm gonna do this again. Be half naked, paint half my body, yeah. go do this thing on stage because that's my job. It's my job. How do you turn that off, though? Because I feel like, again, this parallels to tech where it's like, where do you know where the switch is yeah. to leave it at home? Because sometimes I can't leave even it stop work. thinking about a JavaScript bug. Like, what the fuck are they doing? Where I was like, yeah. oh, I should have shimmied a little this way, or my paint was not bright enough. Or, I think when you're popular enough, you probably don't think about that. Yeah, You're no. just like, I'm printing money. <laughs> yeah. I did not critique myself at yeah. all. Yeah. Because, it, I, because my assistants tell me I was great. Yeah. So moving on. Yeah. But then there's that too. It's like that kind of false narrative for yourself where people are hyping you up and maybe you're not. Maybe you're not that great, you know? It's hard to say. Yeah, it's hard to say. But, you know, again, back to tech, it's like people will work 12 hours, 16 hours. Yeah, Why so right. Let, what's, <laughs> so like a half a day, yeah. you're saying? <laughs> they do half days till the point of exhaustion. Yeah. For what? And they, because they can't disconnect the work from the life, you know? Yeah. Well, the, well, we touched on this on earlier, like, I've done a lot of open source work and stuff thinking it would, like, help my brand and help yeah. me get better jobs or whatever, and it just him. It never did. Like, yeah. So a lot of people do a lot of work, maybe, and sometimes it's fun, don't get me wrong, like, sometimes I was having a good time, but yeah, other times I was like, shit, months. I just gotta crank this out, Yeah. and then there's no benefit. So yeah, just stop working after eight hours or less, preferably. Well, that, I, that's a good point. And that's yeah. kind of the thing is it's a balance. It's like when you're in slow or not flow, slow state, right? I, mm-hmm. That's an absolute oh, yeah. thing. And yeah. you have those days where you're like, I don't know, it was an hour or two today, couldn't get in flow state, really like kind of stuck on a problem. And as salaried employees, we should be able to be like, it's just not here today. I disconnect a little bit. I'm going to go on a walk. I'm still kind of in the back that's of my brain. That's usually when you solve it. it. Yeah. And yeah. that's when you solve it. Exactly. And then next day you sort of come on and you're like, oh man, I'm in the zone. And all of a sudden it's like 10 hours because I just can't stop. I just going to keep this flow going. I think it's, he was good. Yeah. But we're not necessarily like, unfortunately, corporate America thinks like we have to own your time in order to get output from you. And it's a fallacy. Well, I think that's the dynamic, though, is people are afraid because there is that expectation. They have that expectation of the job. Like early in your career, you got to get it done. You're not a recognized subject matter expert. Well, then that can't be how it works for you. So just bump it out, even if it's shit. Bump it out. I remember just pretending to work as a like junior, being like, "All right, I'm here for eight hours today. Got some in the office because remote work wasn't really a thing then." And like. All right, so I solved this problem. I also did some open source shit. That was four hours. All right, I'm gonna go, I would go get lunch, get my car washed, then come back and eat the lunch at work right. to have an extra long lunch and still have like three hours of like, what I have to pretend to be busy. If you've like executed your deliverables, you should be able to just go fucking home. Yeah, like, like it doesn't matter. I'm done today, right. I got it. And that, yeah. that really should be it. But yeah. it, you know, again, it comes down to that balance. And yeah. it makes me, I always go back to as cheesy as it is, like the Kenny Rogers song, The Gambler. Yeah. Knowing when to hold them, knowing to fold them, know when to walk away. Know when to, to run? run? Yeah. So, yeah. That's it. Yeah. account, shit. Oh, money. Wow, you never count. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's true. 
I'm just trying to get people plenty shot of time for counting when the dealings dealings done. done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Damn. Yeah. I mean, uh, it's recent. Yeah, catch Chuck's album. Guys, I want to talk about Christmas for a second. Okay. Why is it so fucking close? And what do you guys want for Christmas? It's 60, it was 66 days away, like, a couple uh, days ago. So yeah. it's got to be 63 yeah. or something. Well, today's the 28th, so yeah, it's less than two months away yeah. at this point. Yeah, I don't know. I buy everything I want as soon as I want it, so I don't need any. Well, that's the thing is, Christmas. like, I'm always yeah. told, like, oh, it's hard to buy for you because you just get yourself what you want. I was like, was because when I don't, was that? <laughs> yours, um, <laughs> because when I don't, it's like, oh, I'd love a uh, blah, blah blah thing. Unless I say it's this thing, this model on this site, and then I feel like I should just buy it myself. Like, why am I getting you well, explicit thing? Well, if you mm-hmm. have like a list, then you can be like, you know, I kind of want these five things, and you could, you know, open to interpretation. Yeah. Like, do you like That's hollow worked. notes? Do you like hollow uh, notes? What I want, you got. Okay, my, so uh, I was just wondering if my kiss was on <laughs> your list. It's not. Whoa. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, nice. I, I, do, love I, do, I love Hall I love Hall Notes. Notes is fire. Yes, Hall & Notes, no, amazing. Well, Hall & Notes, put an asterisk. Creed. Put an asterisk. Better than they used to be amazing. Yeah, of course. Have well, you now? seen them live okay. now? No, no why I'm would not I? talking yeah, about their, exactly. their okay. songs that they fire. did. Not oh, necessarily yeah. their yeah. performance. Actually, I don't want to see Def Leppard now. I don't want to no. see... I don't want to see oh. Alice in Chains now. I don't want to see the current iteration. I want the one well, I like... I don't want to see a band where the lead singer died. Yeah, It's not the same. 100%. Also change the band. here about that? Hot take. Spicy take. Lincoln Park is not Lincoln Park anymore. Oh, change yes. the name. Yeah, oh, they change the name. The name. No, they should. No, they should. Yeah, they should. Yes. All right. So, yeah. multifold. We were talking about this. Yeah. Like Queen, I think has done it right. No new music. Yeah. No real announcements. Really. We tour. Brilliant. And play the old shit with a different singer. Yes. Yeah. Fine. Yeah. yeah Lincoln that, Park uh, trying to be a band that's going to yeah. put out new shit. Yeah. Nah, you I'm can't replace Chester. And it sucks because I act- actually like the song. But again, it's not Lincoln Park anymore. Yes, yeah. that's not Lincoln. So yeah, yeah, if you're that different and your singer is gone, then yeah, it's be a different name. Pink and Lark, <laughs> and they have a, a girl. <laughs> you know, the pink yeah. there you and go. a bird. I actually used Hall and Oates lyrics in my wedding vows because I hmm. I really like that band as well. Yes, so, yes, they yeah, are I good. respect that. They're like the classic yacht rock. Band. They are. They but, literally define that genre. Yeah, yeah. and totally. Daryl Hall is a huge like Porsche file. Oh. So I respect that he's been in like the Porsche. Is that the actual term? You know, Porsche Porsche files? file. Kelly Vaughn, if you're listening, do you Wait, know Kelly? Who? 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 No. Yes. Yeah, never heard of her. I heard she's a terrible person. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's a. She's a. I would scumbag. never. Um, I would never <laughs> hang out or talk with Hold her. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so just tell me you're not a listener of the podcast without yeah. telling me. <laughs> yeah. Really. Yes, uh, been on you know what I say times. to Kelly Vaughn? You know what I say to her? Yeah, what do you say to her? Chicken cock. Oh, chicken cock. All right, I'm going to yeah. publicly also say that I'm not a fan of Porsche. Well, you no, say it wrong, so you <laughs> Porsche. Well, oh, well, I'm also not a fan of Porsche. Okay. Yeah. Why? Why? De Rossi. No, it, it's just Porsche kind of a Rossi? inside joke. She's nice. I actually she's do not, like them. She's nice. Like she's not interested in you, though. She's not. Porsche De Rossi. No. I, I think they're, they're fine cars. They are. I don't understand the hype. Myself. Have you? How many have you driven? Zero. Okay. Well then, but I'm also you don't you've, you've experienced it. my driving. I am not a yeah. driving enthusiast, so it doesn't hit the same for me. If it yeah, were right, like, yeah, you don't like the sounds. You don't like the. I do yeah, like the feel, sound. Experience. But yeah, I don't care about it being like performant and fast and like. So I mean, what do you drive? Tesla. What do you drive? I mean, I feel like you kind of care. Because you have a I test. do like so the electric car, perf- like, because you can be like, I want to be there. Like, yeah, but I a can, lot of I know I can get there. So I don't right, get yeah. a Prius. Well, exactly. Because he See, likes luxury. Cause he, yeah, because he that does. Is, he and I, I am not the sole decision maker. My wife loves the Model X, so that's what we had to yeah. have. Yeah. I mean, it's useful for a young kid, and I kind of get that. What do you drive? My wife has an electric car. We have a Nissan Aria. Which is pretty cool. Not great for road trips, though. We found that out going to Ohio. No, okay. man. And then I have a Jeep Cherokee Trailhog. Hey, man. Okay. Chris. Are you an off-roader kind of thing, I, man? I, I do like the outdoors. We camp a lot. Rivian. I Rivian. Do, Rivian's amazing. Uh, be amazing. I do like that. I do like I'm not opposed to an electric vehicle at all. No, I no. love her car. I think you're more of a Jeep person than a car person, and there's a big variance yes. there. Yes. I've yeah. had nine Porsche. Even when I was four, I bought some. Yeah. And I just liked sports cars. I liked that connection to sure. the road, and I also used to ride motorcycles. So oh, nice. The exact nice. Very, you know. Have you seen the Scout that was just announced like no. two days ago? What is this? 
Do, are you familiar with uh, the Scouts, International Harvester? They were like 80s, oh, yeah, yeah. 70s, yeah. 80s, yeah. 60s, 70s. Yeah. But they so were they, really big in the 60s. They yeah. sold their brand to VW, who okay. just announced an EV that's a oh. trucks and SUVs. I pre ordered yeah, one. SUV is fire. Yeah. The SUV is pretty dope, and it's supposed to be 50K, which if they can stick to that price, is pretty affordable. Yep. That is. Mm. So oh, we'll see what happens, but... Them. It's pretty dope. All right, it's we're looking. Wi Fi. Ooh. Yeah, they're wow. It's going to get down. You got to get it. Kind of looks like a Forerunner a little mm. bit. It's got Forerunner vibes. Yeah, but if you saw old Scouts, sure. the SUV definitely has. It's very it. inspired. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, nice. I love that. Yeah. It's, it's okay. definitely a little Resto Monte and all of that. Yeah, this I episode like was sponsored by <laughs> Scout Motors. Uh, the dub of uh, uh, a bill is coming your way. Yes. The sponsorship for this Court episode, one. though, has been raised to $50,000. One, one free one scout. One free scout. Yeah. This one. Yeah. I don't That's know what you guys will do the whiskey tour in. Oh, yeah. 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 There you go. Oh, see? Oh, see? You're Our and then we can brand sell the whole advisor. outside to be yeah. branded yeah. however yeah. with everyone else. Listen, you're paid on sponsorship, so whatever you can get. There we go. In, bro. Yep. Let's do yeah. it. All right. Let's see, the next person that goes by with a shirt on, I'm going to get them to sponsor. I'm going to give them a shout out. Is there someone without a shirt on that's walking by? Yeah. Uh, there's a, a lot brand. of topless people a here. Brand it's all males. <laughs> and all males who you have never done a push-up. So oh, it's they're, great. Yeah, not a How many push-ups yes. can you do, Chuck? Ooh. More than you. You want to try it right now? I Are you prepared? Like that should happen. I mean, I can do at least 10. What can you at least? I don't. Okay. I think as soon as we're done with this, we should try. Okay. We'll just get out in the middle of the floor. Right. And I can do confidently push-ups. do if, ten. Yeah, I can definitely do ten. 100%. I can whip off ten. Okay. If if you can do well, let's put some stakes on it. Like what what do you get if you this do more? This episode of Whiskey Web and FM is sponsored by Black Rainbow Vests. <laughs> <laughs> Iconic look, classic styling. Rainbow black yeah. vest. This are you going is also or not? Sponsored, yeah, this episode is also sponsored by Boys Mean Boys. Yeah, are you, with is your contest. torso not warm enough? <laughs> yeah, but your arms are fine. All right, I can't wait for this next one. All right, do it. All right. <laughs> no, jam it. Jam it. <laughs> What's it sponsored by? Come on. Oh God. Oh. Oh, That's yeah. all the time. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice. Where's the, you got the, the song queued up? It's all the way. Live. I don't. I don't. No, but seriously, we we just kind of bullshitted the whole time. This do you want to plug you by stuff? Blog Recorder? What stuff do you blog do? Blog Recorder is a SaaS product built by Eddie Vink from the Netherlands. That's, also, this okay. episode is sponsored by Full Bladders. Full Bladders. Stop the podcast. <laughs> yes. and you can go. Play. No, no. I was trying to That's say. That's a leader of do wine. Wanna, That's a problem. Do you want to like plug some shit? Yeah, we can plug. Uh, So I'm actually here at All Things Open because we are here as a team for Torque, which is a talent marketplace. It's not like how tightly you tighten a nut. Torque wrenches are important. I'm going to drop this for you. You ready? We are going to, which this hasn't been approved yet, but I'm saying we're doing it. Because my my boss's boss used to be a developer. It's one of the founders of Torque. Was a developer, loved hackathons. So we are going to implement World Torque and do some live hackathons I like in some it. of the major cities I like it. around the conferences in 2025. Nice. Uh, oh, and Siri's picking that up, so now it's probably going to Taylor. That's not good. Anyway, um, <laughs> oops. But at the end of the day, only about 10% of the people that come to our platform are going to qualify for any of the wills we have available through our clients, like, be honest. You know? Yeah. What we're trying to do is build a community for people to come to that can be a resource for them in the, the job search. So we might not have a job for you, but we might have an opportunity for you to learn something and mm. upskill and also maybe find somebody else in the community that's either going along the same path that you can kind of align with or people that might have opportunities down the road for you. So we're building yeah. a community around this community or this this talent marketplace with the knowledge that you might not have a role right now, but we can help you get one. Yes. So yeah. that's, that's what we're here for. And I just do all the talking under Taylor. Taylor does most of the talking because that motherfucker doesn't know anything about code. But I like to, <laughs> I like to be able to bridge the gap, and like yeah, that's yeah. why they brought me in because I do have a little bit of knowledge of software development, so I can talk to our community in a way that I think makes them feel a little more comfortable as opposed to talking to a tailor who is just coming from that recruitment angle. So right. sure, sure, it's kind of the best of both worlds. And then we brought Brianna Holmes from Render to cover a lot of the marketing campaigns that we're doing and things have been really, really awesome. So nice, nice. And it is like my first role in tech, which a lot of people don't know. So oh, yeah. yeah. Good yeah. to know. So we're here. We're here. Oh yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, sick. So are we all gonna go uh, sword fight? So, Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we I gotta know. do push ups oh, first. Speaking of that, no, okay, we so we'll do push ups. I have to pee first. I must pee first. I went, we were at the pit. Or English cup or this, something. Yeah. This next portion of the episode is sponsored by the pit barbecue. <laughs> oh, I love so, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so good. Raleigh, North Carolina in 1836. Highly recommends the chicken wings. I'm not gonna oh, lie. the wings the fire, are the dry rub wings. The fire roasted dry rub chicken wings. Oh, Go shit. check them out today. No, but seriously, their bathroom has three urinals. Yep. And the one is here, right in the door, and then the next door next to it. Oh, okay. Seems so inviting. Pretty uncomfortable. Yeah, I get you. It's yeah. pretty uncomfortable. There was, I went to a place in New York where it was like an octagon and there were just oh, urinals around that. all of it. I don't love that. And I was that. like, this is a weird thing. I mean, I've been to places in Kentucky where it's just a trough. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say that. Yeah. 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 You know, full of ice. Yeah. And then, it's hot. Yeah. 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 And they're like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> makes the it ice smell makes it smell like, <laughs> you know. Uh, that's why Bird Snapper doesn't know what we had to go through. The 90s were different. The 90s were different. All right. Anyway. All right, time for push-ups. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's right. do it. Peace. Ba, 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 ba. You've been watching Whiskey Web and Whatnot, recorded in front of a live studio audience. What the fuck are you talking about, Chuck? Enjoyed the show? Subscribe. You know people don't pay attention to these, right? Head to whiskey.fun for merch and to join our Discord server. I'm serious. It's like 2% of people who actually click these links. And don't forget to leave us a five-star review and tell your friends about the show. All right, dude, I'm out of here. Still got it.